Preview. Whenever you return to an older game, it's a crapshoot as to whether it'll be as good as you remember, or whether you'll discover that a game you once loved just isn't fun anymore. Thankfully, Fable Anniversary won't be ruining any memories. This visually buffed re-release retains the charm and body spirit that made the original Fable so delightful. As a remaster, Fable Anniversary is one of the better ones. Should you compare the original and the new release side by side, you immediately see the differences. This isn't a case of the resolution being cranked up, but entire assets being recreated, including architecture and character models. The lighting too has been adjusted to reflect real-time sun rays and other natural elements, though this change dims some of the ambient visual glow that makes the world of Albion so warm and inviting. If you never played the original, you're probably more concerned with Fable Anniversary's own unique merits, and there are many. As the unnamed hero of Albion, you gallivant about its charming towns and meadows, performing quests that have you protecting citizens from bandits and infiltrating prisons. But childhood precedes heroism, and the first hour or so of the game chronicles the events that scarred you in your youth while simultaneously serving as an extended tutorial. Your interactions with the populace aren't limited to the kind involving a bow or a sword. You express your innermost self not with what you say, but with what you do. Prove your strength by flexing your muscles. Prove your cruelty by murdering an old friend in front of hundreds of onlookers. How you act is reflected in how others perceive you and in how you look. Bystanders clap as you pass by if they like you, and you sprout devil horns or develop a halo depending on how good or evil you are. It's a shame the world design doesn't reflect the openness of Fable Anniversary's social structure. Even in 2004, Fable's segmented kingdom was confining. Now, treading relatively narrow paths only to reach a loading screen every few minutes is even less satisfying. It'll cost you to get through. When you aren't busy voguing in front of impressed onlookers, you're beating up on balverines and trolls using a combination of melee weapons, bows, and magic spells. The magical possibilities are the most intriguing, given how they allow you to summon a ring of flames or call forth a trio of sentient swords to give you a hand in battle. Putting those disciplines into practice can be frustrating, however. The original's targeting system wasn't great, and while Fable Anniversary represents some improvement, it's not much of one. Luckily, Fable Anniversary is an easy game, so these kinds of foibles are nuisances, not rage-inducing frustrations. It's also a game about discovery, more so than you might imagine for one that confines you to such constricted passages. Inspecting various nooks reveals treasure chests, and talking demon doors scattered about the land have secrets locked behind them, but you must meet certain requirements before they swing open. Those doors are delightful conversationalists, and are part of the genial attitude that makes Fable fun to play. Its combat and world design have aged, but Fable Anniversary is too charismatic to stay mad at for long. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world.